welcome, welcome back, back to Build No Queens with Cole and Coco. And before we get off into the topic for today, we will have a quick prayer. If you could at this time, please silence your phones or fast forward, whatever you do. Um, but we're going to take a moment in silence or take a moment in silence while I pray. Father God, I ask that you give myself and Cole the words that are needed to inspire, uplift, encourage, and empower our fellow sisters and brothers today. Um, I ask that you use us in the way that you need us in every possible way. We have totally surrendered all of that to you. And may your spirit move through us um, and be through them, Father God, and bring us together in this um, unity that we are trying to build and grow in this sisterhood of queens. Um, so I ask that you give us guidance throughout this video in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So today's topic will be going back to toxic relationships, but we'll be going deeper into it and also speaking on a few other things that need to be spoken on. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Okay. So I was uh, informed um, by my grandmother that um, there's been a lot of cases of the child abuse. Um, and one mother actually stated that the reason she was abusing her child was because she's depressed over what's currently going on um, with the quarantine and things like that. First and foremost, that is not an excuse to be beating on these babies. They did not do this. We aren't even responsible for this. So it's not right. You need to stop. That has to stop. Has to. Leave the kids out of it. Kids don't have nothing to do with you all's problems. Show not this problem. No. Your child didn't create the coronavirus, baby. So, what's your motive again? What's your motive? And if you don't want kids, it, it's a million better places your child can be and it don't take nothing to drop them off or call who you need to call to come and get them yeah. seriously your kids have nothing to do with it. those are babies innocent they didn't do none of this and they didn't do nothing that's going on in your life either they're not the reason why you are in any type of turmoil or any type of anything that's that has to do with you and you own it. That has nothing to do with your children. Please leave them out of all of this. Ask for help if you need it. Plenty of help out here. Too much help. If you need help that bad, go and seek help. But this is not okay. It has to stop. This is sad that these babies are dying at the hands of their parents or step parents. And, um, ex-boyfriends and ex-girlfriends this is crazy it has to stop speaking of boyfriends and ex-boyfriends and xyz's let's get straight into the <clears throat> toxic relationships now when we state toxic relationships it's not just for your spouse it could be your family it can be whatever relationship or situation that you have going on at the moment um we're gonna speak on spouse first let him go if you're a man and you watching this let her go only you know how much you can take and you know your worth don't let nobody tell you different don't settle for nothing less than what you want Nothing less. Don't let them belittle you. Don't let them use you as a crutch. And baby, if they playing victim over and over again, let them go. If they threaten to hit you, let them go. Because they'll do it. 
If they ever raise their hand at you, they'll hit you. Let them go. If they don't hit you, don't make an excuse. Let it go. Let it go. Please. It's not worth it. And then, with the kids. I don't know who I'm talking to, but the kids ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Leave them kids alone. If you mad at the baby mama and you want to take it out on, the, on your babies, you don't need your kids. Y'all have that. Those kids have nothing to do with anything. I don't know how how much we can stress that. Kids have nothing to they do with innocent. anything. They are innocent. Yeah, they're going to wreck your nerves. They're going to get on your nerves. That's what they <laughs> That's they what kids. they here for. they kids. <laughs> they're going to do that. They're going to run around. They're going to turn things up. They're going to... You can put them in line, put them in place. There's nothing wrong with disciplining your kids, but please don't go overboard. Please. Because think about if you was a child and you was in this situation. How Some of them have. And you would think that you went through that and you was being abused by your parent or whoever. And if you were to turn around and do it to your children, that's not showing them no love. And if you're telling them that abusing them is love, you're lying to them. And that's just continuing the cycle of abuse. This is something that has to be stopped. Now, you have today. to stop it now. You have to. I didn't grow up being abused. I'm not going to abuse my children. My children love me unconditionally. I have no reason to hurt or harm them. And don't Just let your children. I'm sure y'all children don't cause y'all no harm. But half of y'all don't want y'all children at home as is. Pay attention to your kids. Listen we see them. right around us that these kids be outside all by themselves, two, three, four years old. Outside, no clothes on, diapers on, no shoes, socks, Snotty nothing, nose. no parents, nothing. Walking all around with nobody supervising them or anything. Kids are getting kidnapped. Do you not care if your child is one of them? Pay attention to where your kids are. Mm -hmm. I've had to go and make children go to school because they were playing hooky. Parents didn't even know the kids was not even at school. We shouldn't have to be out here playing parent to your kids. Even though I don't mind. I don't mind, it's but it's not, my, it's not my, that's not my job. It's not my I job. have my kids that I'm supposed to take care of and do my responsibility for. I, ain't, I can't be trying to go with and play mama to everybody else's kids too. And, and some people not even. Y'all don't even deserve to be parents. I don't know it's if I can say that. These babies is somebody. blessings. I'm sorry. Y'all don't even deserve. All these women out here can't have kids. Wish they had kids. Y'all out here just being just 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 reckless. Just don't care. Just I like that. Just, just reckless. <laughs> just don't care. Just don't care at all. Just don't give a damn about the kids. Why? Give, give them, babe, go give them to your, your granny or go, matter of fact, call. You can go drop them off to the CPS building yourself. That's the problem, though. You know beforehand if you want kids. Do what you need to to be responsible to not have children, please. These kids are steady being put into these foster care systems. They getting abused in these foster care systems. Your child. Stop making stupid ass choices. This is crazy. But then you want to cry and complain when your kids get taken away and all this other stuff. And you causing it. Nobody else. Because you making poor decisions. It has to stop. Be responsible. It's not nobody else's job to take care of your responsibilities. But the parents that are involved in making that child. That's y'all's responsibility. Nobody else's. Stop causing toxic relationships between you and exes. It's not worth it. Stop using these children as ping pong balls to pull people back and forth to get them to do what you want them to do. That's not right. You cannot do that. You ain't just harming that person. You you're harming child. that child. That hurts those kids. They grow up seeing that. That is considered abuse. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that to children. They have feelings. They have feelings from the time they are born. 
That's why they cry. That's their way of communicating. They understand what pain feels like. They understand what sadness feels like. And believe it or not, they know what depression feels like. These babies are killing themselves at school, hanging themselves in bathrooms. This is serious. Mm -hmm. Stop ignoring your kids. When these kids are telling y'all something is bothering them, go and seek help. These kids have mental health issues too. Mm -hmm. They suffer from depression. They suffer from PTSD. They suffer from bipolar disorder. They suffer from a lot of things. So stop just thinking your child is bad or just acting out. Because nine times out of ten, when they acting out, something is bothering them. 100%. And the fact that you don't want to listen and they still trying to talk to you, you are hurting them even more. Because they feel like you don't care. This is why these kids are walking away. They won't come to you. They don't feel comfortable coming to you. You can't just be screaming and sitting there yelling at your kids and you're not listening. They have a voice. Let it be heard. They want to be heard the same way you do. Mm -hmm. You're not always right as a parent. Understand that. All because you are a mama or a daddy or a father, whatever you want to call yourself. That does not mean that you are more important than your child. That does not mean that because you are an authoritative figure and you're a parent, then nothing your child says matters. Everything they say matters. God speaks to you through your children. Pay attention mm -hmm. to them, please. Listen to them. Uh, going back to relationships, uh, it is not okay. For somebody to physically abuse you, verbally abuse you, none, none, nothing in that order. It is not okay. Uh, men. Now is the time. If you're if you're in a relationship and you're at home and something is bothering you, this is the next topic. Talk about what's bothering. You. I don't, if, if it's from 10 years ago, if it's from three years ago, if it's from two days ago, talk to your woman. Let her know what's going on. Don't be afraid of her rejection. If y'all been together for a long time, she should be able to hear you out. If she cannot, walk away. She's not for you. She's not for you. Women, you should be able to talk to him 100 percent. talk about anything especially what's bothering you because communication is key if there's no communication there's nothing he's not listening walk away because if he ain't listening now and he ain't got it now he ain't gonna never get it he not for you if you don't see more than two signs that he not for you walk away we got you. As long as you subscribe and you follow in here, we got you. I promise you. Walk away. Listen to your kids. They want to know why y'all always arguing, why y'all always fighting, and then they don't like them. And, and listen to them. Let them go. If you're wondering why you can't progress, it's because you haven't let them go and you haven't let your past go in order to move forward and prosper in the most essentialist way you have to let them go have to um, speaking of Letting your past go. I hope you all have your papers and your pens. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> quite a few people were given the first homework assignment. And two people told me that they did it and they feel great after doing it. And that is Shalinda 
and Carlisha. Thank you so much for Thank actually taking the time out to do the assignment. And we are so happy that it helped you. Um, we have many, many more assignments for you guys. Um, we actually did one this morning. Um, real quick, I do want to shout out Erica Grady. She was the first one to do the assignment. That's awesome. And she feel amazing at this point. Definitely, 100%. And she's working on her second assignment. Um, today's assignment goes back to what Coco was saying. We did that last night. This morning. This morning, right? Really, about like 1 o'clock in, in the morning. The assignment is to get a sheet of paper and write down your deepest darkest secret I'm talking about a secret that no one knows write it down fold it up go outside if you stay in some apartment go outside and put it in the trash can cause it ain't, now it ain't got nothing to do with you it ain't got nothing to do with you you done let it go wherever it end up you have nothing nothing to do with it you all if you're in a car i advise you to get in your car drive about three to four minutes away from your residence wherever you stop pull over bury it you're letting it go and if it's something that's been helping you go on it's giving you the strength to go on now is the time to let it go because even though it's giving you the strength to go on it's also holding you back because if you're wondering why i know i can do it i know i can do it but you haven't done this because you haven't let it go you have to fully let go of everything you have to. that's hurting you and give it to god completely completely not, not hold it because mind body heart soul, soul everything you have to now is the time to let it go definitely um another thing we want to touch basis on is learning to be dependent when necessary break down for you if you have people that's been there supporting you they have did no harm to you they have every time you call them, every time you need them, even if you don't need them, because we have some people like me. I had a point. I it was it was more so a pride. I didn't, I didn't like people to do nothing for me. Mm -hmm. But the simple fact is, I didn't even like. I don't like paying people back. That's just me. That's one. And I still and I, don't call people and ask for help. That's just if you if you're not doing it out of kindness your heart, I don't want it uh -huh. because that's me. Anything that I've ever done for someone, I don't ever. I don't. I don't want it back. I don't need it back because if I did it, that's out of the kindness of my heart. You know what I'm saying? So, learn to be dependent when necessary. If you need help and they're there to help you, please they ask for it. Accept it. Yeah. Cause I accept it and, and, and ask, ask for it and ask. Especially if they tell you they can. If you know for sure you can depend on that person and they can depend on you, trust it. There's please. no point in struggling or anything like that when God put somebody there to be able to help you along the way even if it's just by encouragement mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be materialistic or monetary it just can simply be words of encouragement and uplifting I, I promise you it. words oh they can go a long way y'all I ain't playing they can go a long way they can go a long way a, a, a simple small prayer can go a long way please uh, those who have those who are independent <clears throat> those who are independent women it's okay to let your man help I don't know who I'm I don't you know talking who I'm to talking me, I to. finally accepted the process so uh, somebody it's, it's somebody mm -hmm. quite a few Um, it's okay let him help let if he's a man if he, please let him be a man if he's been there and he's done nothing to make you feel doubt him, doubt him make you feel like you, he can't be trusted. Um, let him be a man. 
Let he him be there. He deserves that because he is a man. That's that's the definition 100%. of a man, baby. You, you can you can wear your panties and sit down to the side with your legs crossed if you want. Cause he got that. He got that. Trust that. Don't let someone else's mistake be the reason you miss out on your blessing. Amen. Every man, that's saying every man is the same. Every man is not the same. Every man is not, is the, not same. the same. Some are similar. Most of them got some of the same type of qualities, but you have some really amazing men out here man. in this world. Let them be a man. Please. For if you if you can't do it for you, do it for me and do it for the kids. Cause and do it for me. Because Coco love black love. Like, Ooh, come on. That's the most beautiful thing. Yes, it is. Ooh, girl. Yes, it is. Real love. Genuine love. Man. Not that fake front stuff that I've seen. No. Mm -hmm. Real, genuine love. They love where you see them when they they have been together for 70 and 80 years and you walk past them and they still hold hands Ooh. and he still hold her face and kiss still her face. Looking. Yeah, still looking at them like they 20. That's black love for you. Yes, girl. Um, So, my question to you, if you got anything from this video today, what are you doing with your life right now? If it's nothing, then that's the problem. I'm going to uh, end it out with a prayer. Well, not a prayer. I'm going to give you guys a verse. Um, my personal favorite is my absolute favorite. I used to have it posted on my wall, and I would read it every single day. And it is. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 4 through 5. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. In other words, love is forgiveness. Amen. So if you have been making these mistakes as parents doing these things that's been going on whatever you've been doing wrong you know you've been doing wrong forgive yourself first and foremost ask God to forgive you mm -hmm. he already did it but ask him to forgive you and then forgive yourself we all make mistakes and so, don't make it a repeated pattern yeah don't don't keep doing it you're not gonna he, he, what's the purpose of him forgiving you once if you're gonna keep making the same mistake mm -hmm. stop it now this is not to tear anybody down or anything like that. We have to address the issues that are seriously going on. So we pray for you guys. And uh, we will. Peace, love, and blessings. See you next time. Bye. Bye.